Deus Ex Machina is a video game designed and created by Mel Croucher and published by Automata UK for the ZX Spectrum in October 1984 and later converted to other popular 8-bit formats. The game was the first to be accompanied by a fully synchronized soundtrack which featured narration, celebrity artists and music. The cast included Ian Dury, John Pertwee, Donna Bailey, Frankie Howard, E. P. Thompson, and Mel Croucher who also composed the music. Andrew Stagg coded the original Spectrum version, and Colin Jones later known as author, publisher Colin Bradshaw Jones was the programmer of the Commodore 64 version. The game charts the life of a «defect» which has formed in «the machine» from conception, through growth, evolution and eventually death. The progression is loosely based on the seven ages of man from the Shakespeare play, As You Like It and includes many quotations and parodies of this. Despite critical acclaim at the time, the game did not conform to conventions of packaging and pricing required by distributors and retailers and the game was sold mailorder only direct to the public. It subsequently gained cult status as an underground art game. In 2010, the game was included as one of the titles in the book 1001 Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. A reimagining of the game went into production in 2010, under the title Deus Ex Machina 2, once again under the design and creation of Mel Croucher. The new cast is led by Sir Christopher Lee as the programmer, with China Wine as the machine, Chris Madden as the defect, Joaquim de Almeida as the defect police, and original Ian Dury session vocals. In 2014, Mel Croucher released a book about the games and his history, and the making of the new game. The book is entitled Deus Ex Machina, the best game you never played in your life. The game's sequel was eventually released in 2015. In 2018 all the rights to the Automata UK games were transferred to the company Subvert Limited. Etymology The game's name is the Latin expression Deus Ex Machina, literally meaning, God from the machine. Description Players of the game are to take control of a defected machine which has taken the form of the human body. The players would experience the different stages of life, all the way from being a cell to being a senile old being. It is considered to be a visual audio entertainment although the game itself does not have sound. It is separated into an audio cassette where the tape needs to be played alongside the game. The length of the audio cassette is 46 minutes which is also the length of the game itself. Although the game could be played without the audio cassette, it would make it easier to understand with the help of the soundtrack. The soundtrack includes songs, musical compositions, and also voices of famous actors. As the game comes with a full transcript of the speech, it could at times be played without audio. Deus Ex Machina for ZX Spectrum, 1984. Moby Games. Retrieved the 11th of December 2018. Mel Croucher's view Mel Croucher was the creator of the game, Deus Ex Machina, that was launched in 1984 and published by Automata UK. He viewed the game as a disappointment to himself even though the players loved the game and the game itself won the Game of the Year award. To him, it was a game that had cost him dearly as he spent years putting everything he had into the game. Usually games from Spectrum would cost £8 but Mel Croucher's game cost people £15. The reason that the game was more costly as he wanted wanted to make the game as nice as it could be by adding a gatefold package and poster. He later stated that he regretted making the game costly and should have sold it at a sensible price. In the end, he stated that they only broke even with the game and that after this, he was done making games. <laughs> 